All right, guys, today we're gonna put this rooftop AC into this camper. Tag along and we'll show you how it's done. So we've been testing out a bunch of different rooftop ACs. Uh, we've been hearing a lot of good things about this unit right here from Audi Quip. This is our first time installing this specific brand onto a camper. So uh, come along with us, show, we'll show you how it's done, kind of follow the instructions. They have some really good install videos online as well, but we're gonna show you how to specifically do that on your Freedom Camper and uh, test it out. The cool thing about this AC, it's 12 volt. So once it's installed, you just hook it up to a battery and it'll run. So I've already gone ahead and marked the spot that I'm gonna cut out. Obviously follow the specs on your specific unit for the size that you're gonna be cutting. You wanna make sure you leave enough space behind this composite wood strip so that the unit can lay in between these two. So we've marked this six inches back and the specified hole size at 14 by 10. And then you'll need a drill and a jigsaw to cut out your roof. Quick side note before you install, it's definitely worth removing the carpet. I just vacuumed up a ton of the dust from cutting that hole in and it's a lot easier to sweep up if the carpet's out of there. So go ahead and pull your carpet out before you do your install. I like to use the drill to just make it easier to drill into each corner and then go ahead and cut out the hole. You will need a fairly long jigsaw blade this roof is two and a half inches thick of high density foam. You can find these on Amazon. They're just longer bits than what your standard bit will be. Um, but we found that's key for making a clean cut. This unit comes with a few gaskets. This one's gonna go around where it's gonna protrude through the hole, the circular one. So we're gonna stick that on there. And then these back two ones provide stabilization for the unit and will be stuck on there. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Good? Yes. So for this next part, they give you these through bolts that thread up into the unit, and that's gonna end up being our anchor system. So we'll go ahead and install these now. So then you're gonna go ahead and take the nuts, put the channels up against, this will be what holds it in place onto the roof. You then wanna make sure that your bars are even, evenly spaced, so that when you put your cover shroud on, that it evenly covers. And then you can go ahead and tighten the bolts. All right, so we've now dropped the wires down and you can plug them in accordingly. Again, follow your specific instructions, but we'll engage them now. This is definitely one of the trickier parts of the install. You can run your electrical a number of different ways. You could drill a hole down through and then seal it really good and have your electric on the inside. I tend to like doing it this way, even though maybe it's a little more, you know, janky when you're going down the road, but I use these reties. It's just a heavy duty zip tie that you can remove and put back on. And I just bundle up the cord and attach it to the unit. And then when I get to my location, I undo the, re the zip tie and we'll just pull my battery out of my truck and hook it up. Um, but again, you could rig it a number of different ways. You could drill it in, 
This is just how we do it, um, just to avoid putting another hole and keeping the electrical outside of the unit. Again, a lot of ways to do it, but just wanted to show you that quick method. So we got it rigged up, took a little bit of wrestling to get that inside plate in, but we got it on. Now we're gonna test the unit and make sure it's working properly. So again, as we said, this is a 12 volt air conditioner. So you just hook up the positive to the positive side. Negative to the negative side. Oop, she fired up. All right, so the air conditioner is now running and it is kicking out cold air. This one's pretty nice. It's got four directional fans, so you can kind of direct it where you want, kind of spread it around the camper. But it is cooling down quickly in here. And you can adjust fan speed. So I turned it way down now. You can set your temperature, set it 70. And uh, we're excited to test this unit out and see how it does. But overall, relatively easy install and it seems to be working really well right now definitely really hot outside and it's cooling down quickly in here all right so we've been running this thing for a few hours now and i gotta say we're pretty impressed uh, i have this little temperature gauge again this is only running off a battery and again you can get whatever size 100 amp hour 200 this is a 300 amp hour battery you can get it as much as you want or as many batteries as you want for as far as you're going to go you can also hook solar up to your battery so it recharges um, but right now, the outside of this unit, and again, sun beating down, it's 170 degrees on the skin of this. The unit itself, 127. But you go on the inside, and it's reading 63.5. Um, and this thing's been really efficient so far, too, really not drawing much. We found that we can run on a 300 amp hour battery around 30 hours of the unit running itself. Obviously that fluctuates based on temperature and how hard you're running the unit, how far you're dropping it down. It probably wouldn't last that long with us having it on a really low setting and high fan mode, but still a really good off-grid setup. Impressed with this setup and this rig. And so um, as of right now, we would recommend it. We'll see how it does longevity and durability wise. We can give an update as we test it and get it out on the road but relatively straightforward install and a really solid unit so far. So stay tuned to see how it lasts. If you have any questions about Freedom Campers, head over to our website, freedomcampers.com or leave a comment below. Again, like and subscribe to see more DIY videos coming your way to show you how you can rig your Freedom Camper your way. Uh, and reach out, freedomcampers.com if you wanna order yours. Thanks.